So I have been getting a lot of requests lately to do things like infinite enchantments or negative enchantments, playing around with values like that. Um, this one is a little bit different, and I assume you guys are enjoying these videos. I think it's really cool, trying to break these limits that exist in the first place. So as you know, multi-shot does not have a level, it's just multi-shot, and when you have a multi-shot crossbow, it just shoots out three arrows or three fireworks or whatever. It has a hard limit of three. So let's try multi-shot one and see what happens. So this is the default value. Multi-shot one shoots three arrows. So nothing different there. So multi-shot two, let's see how many arrows it fires. Four. Four arrows are being fired every time. So what I'm going to do is bump this up to 10 and let's see how many arrows there are now. Even more. I'm not going to count them now, it doesn't really matter. But I have successfully used a data pack to increase the number of arrows across both shoots depending on the level of multi-shot. So now this gets a little bit deadly the moment I increase it to a value, let's say 50, um, it gets a little worse. So it looks more like fireworks now. Um, it, I'm not going to use fireworks because it's going to lag so much. But the arrows do come back down, which is very nice to see. Um, this is collateral damage. This is something that you'd see in a war zone. For example, let's say you have a bunch of creepers and you do this. Let's see how many creepers get hit. <laughs> not a lot. In fact, I can go ham on this and just do multi-shot 500. Creepers are trying to run away. That is going to take a long time, but this is multi-shot 500. Dang, it's actually kind of <laughs> underwhelming. I expected more from multi-shot 500, but uh, let's have a look again. Come down. Okay, some of them have died, but the arrows are so dispersed because of all the motion that comes from shooting it into the air. I guess the creepers survive this one. What about if I shoot them directly? Yeah, I guess that's a little more efficient, doing it this way. You can actually see the arrows generating as I'm flying away. There's that much lag involved from randomizing the motion of 500 arrows, or 50 arrows in this case, I think. Yeah, just 50. Or 500. You can see them just calculating all of the randomization um, in all the motions. So, it takes a bit of time, but you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm summoning a lot of arrows at the same game tick, um, and then it's calculating all the random motions. So it looks quite nice. It'd be a lot better if it was a little more efficient in that case. All right, Creepers, I'm not done. I'm going to do <laughs> level 1000. Now, uh, <laughs> as you can probably tell, it's going to take a long time. This is how long it takes. All the arrows start summoning right here, the same game tick, and then each one calculates a random motion for every other one. And then when it's ready, it's not going to lag too much. I know the limit because I've been testing it. But yeah, that's how much it takes. So <laughs> 1000 looks like this from the air. So I'm going to stand over this side. And then they shoot into the sky all at once. And then they come flying down. That's a multi-shot 1000. I could continue bumping this up. 1300 is the rough limit with all of this. So um, I can continue doing that, I guess. It's, I just did it twice. I'm not sure that's a good idea. The number of entities it takes to do all of this is insane because I'm running an RNG thingy in the background for every single arrow that's shot. So it maintains the uh, identity that it deserves. But you can see how well, like, spread out they are. Now the title of this video is level 10,000. Um, I'm going to try it. Uh, it's going to be the end of this video because it's impossible. Um, the limit is 1400 and I don't know why. 1300, it still does it successfully. 1400, definitely not. It takes about 30 minutes, even longer. So this is Multishot 10,000. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe for more creative content and other suggestions like this that are not cursed, even though this is a little bit impractical. Watch this. Thank you.